type of program construct building block is called loops or a loop now what is what is a loop you can probably guess a loop is something gets repeated number of times yeah or a task that gets repeated a number of times right so the first type of loop now there's different types and we're going to cover every single one of them uh, briefly at least the first one we're going to talk about is the for loop for loop is very popular the syntax for that so every time you hear me saying the word syntax it basically means the, the, the grammar of the program so the syntax of the language for again it's, it's very universal uh, you start with the word for that's the keyword and then you we're gonna we're gonna cover this in more detail but we talk about the type uh, of of uh, variable it's gonna be I'm gonna talk about variables later on uh, so we're gonna just follow look at the syntax just see just look at the syntax and don't worry about understanding it completely at this stage and we say I equals zero and semicolon I less than 100 so whatever it's going to do it's going to repeat a hundred times and then I plus plus now I plus plus means increment I which started at zero increment it by itself one time so the next cycle I would be one and then it will go around and then it would go two three four until it counts until I is is uh, less than while while I while I is less than a hundred keep doing whatever we're gonna ask it to do in a moment so once we do that we like I explained in the if condition uh, we open a block with these squiggly brackets we write some code to be executed a, a hundred times and we close it off with that uh, closing block Right, it's very straightforward and I am going to explain the for loop in more detail but for now this is the for loop and a little introduction in the for loop we're going to move on to the next type of loop which is called a while loop a while is basically a condition while the condition is true do the function so the syntax for that just to give you an idea uh, while and then we open the the brackets and within those brackets we're going to put the condition so what is the condition we're going to give you an idea maybe we say uh, while uh, x um, is less than a hundred for example like previous example and we're going to open the curly brace we're going to write some code here and then we're going to close it off and that's going to just keep on repeating until while while x is less than 100 as soon as x equals 100 you won't execute that block any longer so wherever you see this it means a block of code that will be executed okay so um, so that's the while loop for now we're going to use the while loop in practical examples later on so now we're at the third type of loop which is called a do while loop you probably guessed it it's very close to the while loop however the way it works is that we start by doing something we open a block and we're gonna write some code and then we're gonna close the block and then we're gonna say while x is less than 100 so the difference between this and the while loop is in this case it will do the co it will execute this block here at least once so it will do this and let's say for example x actually equals s x equals 200 in this case right so x started off with 200 and then we said here do this code it starts running the code it ran it once and then it checks the condition and it says 200 is less than 100 no it's not so then it's not going to execute the command again but if x was only let's say 2 it will go down to here and it will say x equals 2 and it's less than 100 and then it will just go back up here again and it will do this command this block here again it will run it second time 
and it, until it reaches a hundred and once it's done it a hundred times it will stop and at that stage it will exit and continue with the program it's back down here again